Hi, welcome to today's Dora responsive font size tutorial. In web design, it's essential to ensure clear readability on various devices and screen sizes. So with Dora, we offer two methods for creating responsive text, breakpoint and fit width. So let's start with breakpoints. So breakpoint allows you to set size for different devices, for example, tablet and mobile. And here at first I start with tablet. So after I set this tablet breakpoint, you can see how this text is reaching the edge of the page. So we will shrink the text down so it fits the page. This is how the page looks after I resize the text. Next, I will set the mobile breakpoint. It's just the same process. I shrink down the text to an appropriate size. The image is a bit too large as well, so I will adjust it. So let's see the preview. So for a breakpoint, when I shrink down, the text will remain the same. And when it reaches a specific point, the text will automatically shrink down to fit that device size. Next, let's talk about fit width. So fit width is a little bit different. The text changes all the time. So here, let's select the title. And beside the font size, we choose fit width. Notice how the text width is changed automatically into percentage and we can set the size as we want. So as I am scaling down the browser, the title is always 60%. Next, I also want to show you a quick tip about how fit width is really useful when doing design. So for this design, the title and the image is in the same length. I want them to be aligned all the time. So here I have a container with the width of 100 VW. I have a text layer with the width of fill. I have an image with the width of fill. And this text is set to fit width as well. So now when I shrink down, the text and image always keeps the same size. They are aligned all the time. Last, I also want to share some tips for typography. Regardless of the method you use, the following best practices can help you create elegant and efficient responsive typography. First is working from low to high fidelity. So starting with the simplest responsive and then add more features. Second is to balance your font sizes. Don't use oversized or undersized text. Last is to avoid frequent resizing, especially when the text is in a really close distance. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching.